Hello everyone, I'm here at uh, Petoskey Brewing and I'm being loaded with some beer. I just want to do a quick video on load placement and how to properly load beer so that it was it's secure. We have problems with beer tipping over and we don't want to damage any freight. And especially when you get some of the microbrewers, it can get pretty expensive when you damage it. So just want to show you how to load it and how to properly secure it and uh, everything like that. Um, first thing you want to look for is to make sure that the 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 freight is properly wrapped we'll take a uh, I'm not gonna be able to do that because it's too dark so we'll go over here and I will show you how this is wrapped and you'll see that it's wrapped a little better all right so here we got some of the freight you'll see that it's got a pretty good wrap on it this is actually really secure you'll see I'm pushing on it it's not really going anywhere so that's a pretty good wrap. Some of them aren't. Some of them aren't wrapped as good, so they'll wobble. And the kegs are kind of the same way. Kegs will wobble a little bit, but like even these ones, these are secure in there. You'll see they're not going anywhere. So that's what you want. You want them for starters. You want them to be wrapped secure. And if they're not secure, do not hesitate to ask them to secure them better. So. So here we got, we're loading them up. What we're doing is we're getting the tall stacks to the wall and then you put them in tight. So that way they lock each other in and then they're staggered. So one, one side, you'll see that the two, they're on the left over here. And then behind that, the stack that's directly in front of it you'll have um, up against the right hand side of the wall so the the space the space on this front skit is over here on the right but the skit in front of it the space will be over on the left that staggers it helps lock them in and then uh, the same thing all the way up so and these aren't too heavy so we can actually go side by side you want to check your weights to make sure that if they're too heavy that you don't that you that you stagger the weights two two one two one two one like that if you have any issues about on um, how you should uh stack or how you should load a trailer you can ask aj and he'll break it down to you and tell you how they should be loaded for weight especially coming from somewhere like leland all wine cellars the wines are far more heavy and weigh far more than uh, just regular beer. Okay, here we are. The trailer's already been loaded. You'll see I had an extra one. So instead of putting it off to the side, I put it into the middle to tie it in. I put the strap on it, and I put the strap so it's on the cardboard. You see it's on the cardboard. It's not on the cans, crushing the cans. Um, I was just talking to the one of the owners of Petoskey Brewing. I was saying it might be good to start carrying corner protectors with us so that if I'm picking up beer I can put corner protectors on there to cover the strap and protect the corner of the beer from the strap. You can see how I've got the freight loaded. I put the small one up on top of the keg. If you can do that, that's great. That helps tie it in. Then I have these kegs here, and but they're high enough that they'll hold these cans in. So. This is about how you want to do it. Keep everything tied in, keep them tight to the wall, tie them in together the way they are staggered up there and that'll hold them together. And so that's it. And then just make sure your last ones are secure and don't drive crazy. Uh, don't take your turns fast. Try not to uh, slam on the brakes and try not to jerk as you're taking off and it won't spill backwards. So. That's a good way to keep everything secure. So, all right, everyone, uh, have a good day and stay safe out there.